Today we heard from mayors, we heard from first responders, we heard from the colonel of state police, uh, we heard from people who were on the ground both before, during, uh, and, and in the aftermath of the storm. Uh, we heard what their needs were during the storm, uh, where they would have liked things to have gone differently, uh, and we've also learned about their immediate needs and the dollars that it's costing them just from an emergency response effort, uh, from removal of trash and debris from their streets and rebuilding of some of their routine storm sewers and roadways. Uh, we're planning on at least uh, three more hearings, uh, potentially four. Uh, we're getting a great response. We appreciate the governor's uh, cabinet uh, working with us and be willing to come and testify. We're going to be hearing from the Department of Education uh, about the impact on the school systems. Uh, we're going to hear from the DEP, the Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. I think that's very critical because we heard today our, our coastlines from Monmouth down to Cape May, uh, the dune protections, the beach erosion. Uh, how do we rebuild smartly? Uh, before we could rebuild, we need to make sure the dune protections are in place and where that funding is going to come from. Uh, we're going to hear from the DOT commissioner on the impact to our mass transportation systems and our highways and what kind of dollars are going to be needed there uh, going forward. Again, I think the message is we need to rebuild certain areas. Um, we need to protect ourselves from a future storm, but we need to do it in a very smart uh, and economical way. I tell you what, uh, I've watched television and watched CNN, I've watched uh, many uh, areas that have been ravaged by s storms and wars and uh, the devastation I've seen firsthand. Uh, and this is the third time I've been through the area. Uh, today was the first time I, I was on the Seaside Heights boardwalk uh, and the first time I was in the Harding Coolidge area or Ortley Beach and the devastation is just the magnitude is is beyond uh, belief but every time I do have the opportunity to go over there I'm seeing progress and I think uh, people should realize every day that goes on there's more progress there's more sand being removed back to the beach there's more debris being removed there's more power lines being reconstructed there's more gas valves being put back in so uh, every day are there progress uh, being made? But we have a long way to go as a state, uh, and the Budget Committee has a long way to go.